Hey guys, welcome to MNMM IELTS. Today I'll be sharing one of the types of essay writing that you can get in your IELTS exam. Again, I would say one of the most common essay types, which is problem solution essay types. Very straightforward of what is expected out of you. However, it is very crucial to keep a few pointers in mind and to write a very good essay is not that difficult if you understand what is expected out of you. So let us first understand that how to write the problem solution essay in the best possible way and then I have a sample answer ready for nine bands. You can use that sample answer for nine bands and you'll get a perfect score. So obviously I'm not encouraging you to copy that um, answer because you may get that same essay in your exam you may not get that same essay but what you can do is instead of copying the answer you can copy the pattern like what is covered how things are covered in a problem solution essay so that if you follow the same way of writing the essay you also will get a perfect score for your writing section let's get started so for problem solution essay before beginning the topic what I would like to share is essays they 100% get repeated in the IELTS exam so the best thing to do would be to practice only exam questions so that if you get any question that has been repeated you'd be very lucky and you know somewhere in the back of your mind that what should you write what ideas should you write and it will help you to have a very good essay okay the first thing that you have to do is read the question very carefully whatever essay title has been given to you you have to make sure of the words like reason or reasons the reason i'm saying this is because if it says reason that means they're asking you one reason but if it says reasons they're asking you more than one reasons so that means you have to write down multiple ideas what happens in a lot of essay is they say discuss the issue so that means you have to give one idea related to the issue however that same essay somebody might get as discuss the issues related to this topic now issues means they are asking you to discuss multiple issues and if you just discuss one issue that's where you lose a lot of marks and obviously you don't get a full score a full band that you're expecting that you would get because you've written a very good essay so reading the question and understanding it is very important as to you have to understand that what are they expecting out of you are they expecting one issue to be discussed are they expecting you multiple issues to be discussed are they expecting you to give one solution or multiple solution if it clearly says in the essay title follow it if it doesn't say anything then you can do whatever you like you can write one you can write more than one okay the next thing that you have to do before you start writing your essay is planning planning before you start typing or writing your essay is very crucial which means organizing your ideas all right now let's say it is a problem solution essay so you definitely need one idea for to, to discuss your problem and one idea to discuss your solution if they are asking you to discuss multiple ideas or multiple reasons then you have to write or think of more than one idea for problem and more than one idea for solution you have to first jot down your ideas for your problem and solution so that when you start writing your essay that time you don't need to think what should i write your ideas are ready all you need to do is now that you have to put them in sentence structure so organizing and planning is very important the next thing that you have to take care of is a complete correct pattern we have to make sure that we do not miss out on anything whether it is introduction whether it is conclusion or whether it is discussing the problem and solution in detail so the best pattern to follow would be to have four paragraphs where introduction is the very first paragraph body one which is the second paragraph will discuss the problem only the third paragraph which is body two will discuss the solution only and the last paragraph which is the fourth paragraph will conclude your essay if you follow this pattern you will definitely get a very good score a full score in your essay writing for your problem solution essay now if i discuss all these four paragraphs in just short then what do you need to cover introduction you all you need to make sure is you just introduce your topic and you just share of what you're going to write down in the essay the upcoming essay which is body one body two introduction is not the place where you give any detailed description or examples we never include any examples or any detailed description in the introduction all we need to do is we need to share the ideas 
in short or to the point i would say for your problem and for your solution saying this and this is what i'm going to discuss in the essay and my essay will discuss these ideas in detail with suitable examples when you say that you're basically introducing your essay saying that okay when you read the when you read my further paragraphs this is what you have to expect this is what you have to uh, read and this is what you will come across so that's all you need to do if you give a very detailed description in your introduction that's not a good thing because you're not introducing you're actually jumping into the topic you're digging in the topic which is not good for an introduction paragraph so please keep that in mind introduction means being straight to the point and just opening the ideas uh, you know keeping them in the plate for the instructor to read it all right now the next thing is that you have to keep in mind is your body one and your body two so now when I say body one and body two, what you need to keep in mind is this is the place where you describe your ideas in detail. So not only you mention your ideas, but you give a little bit of detailed description of them and you also give an example to support your idea and the description of your idea. So giving example is very crucial in both these paragraphs. Giving the detailed description of ideas is very crucial in both these paragraphs because you cannot do that in introduction and conclusion. And conclusion is something where you again do not give any detailed descriptions, you do not give any examples and you all you do is just conclude the ideas that you have written. In simple straightforward term, I would say the shortest paragraph of your essay should be the conclusion paragraph. You should not write a conclusion that is bigger than your introduction, your body one and body two because imagine that you are giving more data in concluding, concluding a thing than in describing a thing. That's not a perfect balanced essay. The body one and body two should be a little more heavy, I would say a little lengthier compared to introduction and conclusion. Now let's do one thing. The best way to understand any topic is to have to solve a topic. I've already solved an essay for you. I would request all of you to play, pay close attention to this essay writing that I've done because this is an example for a perfect band. If you follow these strategies, these techniques, you will definitely get the same score. Now, what is the essay title? The internet has transformed the way information is shared and consumed, but it has also created problems that did not exist before. What can be done to solve these issues? Remember I shared that read the question very carefully. Now let's say I am a student. I've just read the question normally. I did not pay very close attention and I just describe one issue. I can never expect nine bands straight away. My one band is gone there because I have not read the question correctly. I have not given them what they need. So I cannot expect a full score. So the scoring actually starts from here itself, from the question itself. Read the question properly. All right. Now, which means I need to definitely discuss more than one problem, more than one issue. All right. And for solution, let's see if they have asked us so to give one solution or many. What can be done to solve these issues? So in terms of solution, they have not they, ha they are not specific whether we need to uh, provide one solution or many. So you can either provide one or two or whatever number of solutions you want to give. That's not uh, mandatory that you should stick to a certain number. Now, definitely a problem solution essay. I have the word problem and they have described a problem which is internet has transferred the way, transformed the way information is shared and consumed and it has also created problems that did not exist before. What can be done to solve these issues which means obviously the solution. I've understood the question. Now let's straight away get into the introduction part what I've written. Now this is my introduction part, the one that you can see on your screen. In my view, the internet has contributed immensely to how knowledge and information are shared as well as consumed all across the globe these days. The first thing that I've done is whatever is my essay title, I have written it in my own words, maybe a little bit of paraphrase and I have agreed with whatever they say. Okay, that is my perspective, my opinion and I have shared it in the very first line. So the examiner is very clear about my opinion, what I feel. In my view, because that is my point of view, the internet has contributed immensely to how knowledge and information are shared as well as consumed all across the globe these days. 
So this is what my title is, but obviously I haven't written the exact same word as I have been given in the question. I've made a little bit of changes, which you can do to show your vocabulary. But obviously I've st still kept it very straightforward and simple. I haven't made it complicated just to make it a little bit fancy. Okay, now the next line. This essay will not only discuss the issues relevant to this subject, but will also provide solutions to overcome the challenges with suitable examples. So what I have done is I have described in my introduction that what will I talk in my further paragraphs. I have said that I'll be discussing the issues and I'll be discussing the issues that is relevant to this subject that whatever we are discussing. And I will also provide solutions that we can use to overcome these challenges with suitable examples which means i'm telling them in my very first paragraph that not only i will give you some description some explanation but also i will give you some examples that is the gist of my essay writing that's it i haven't given any detailed description let's move on to the next paragraph now next paragraph is the paragraph i would call body one wherein i will only discuss the problem and i will never discuss the solution all right to begin with, the problems associated with the dark side of the internet are using social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and YouTube for stalking people and spending countless hours browsing through profiles and videos. Now, have I written anything that you must be thinking, wow, this is something I have never come across like stalking people on social media or spending countless hours browsing through people's profiles or videos. This is what people do, right? So I haven't written anything very special or extraordinary. I have written what I have seen. I have written what I've come across and I have written, I believe what is the truth. So writing a good essay does not necessarily mean that you need to write something extraordinary. Even if you write something basic, but that describes whatever the problem is in this paragraph, with simplicity, with good vocab, obviously you are not supposed to keep on repeating the same words again and again. Your spellings, your grammar, your English, that is what matters, not how knowledgeable you are about the subject. So if you read my idea, it is a very simple idea and the idea is stalking people on social media and wasting your time using social media and I've given a few names like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. You can always use names. There is no issue in using names. You can use any other name if you like. This is what the most common ones are according to me and hence I've used them. Now, let us go to the description that I have given. These lead to further difficulties like not spending enough time with family members and setting inadequate examples for kids in families. All right. Remember in the essay title, what did they say? Issues. More than one issue. So the first issue is wasting time, stalking people. That's the problem. Okay. I have given further issues that can be, uh, you know, as a result of what we are doing. And that is not spending enough time with family. That is again an issue. And also setting inadequate examples for kids in the families because whatever you are doing, your kids are watching you. So because whatever you are doing, they're watching, whatever you are actually doing in the house is what you are setting as an example for them to follow because whatever you do, they're going to follow it. So that's what I have described here in the essay writing. For example, as I said, when I was discussing the pattern, writing example is very important. When you write example, basically what you're doing is you are giving them a data that says that whatever idea you have given is actually relevant, is actually truth. Now, whatever uh, example number I have used here, if we read it, let's read the example first. For example, the divorce rate in the year 2021-2022 has increased by 19% due to people carrying impatient attitudes and using derogatory words in their communication as an influence of violent videos on social media. Now this 2021 increased by 90%, 19%, do you think it's the real data? No, it's not the real data. But IELTS doesn't care if the, they will never Google that whatever you have written, is it correct information wise? No, that's not what they will do. What they care about is how is your vocabulary used? How is your grammar? 
How are your spellings? How have you written the essay? Is it properly structured? Is it properly relevant to the topic that you are supposed to be discussing? That's what matters. So please don't think that you have to be very good in general knowledge. You can be basic, but focus more on your English. That's what I've done. I have first described the issue. I've given more than one issue. I have made sure that issues are discussed with some detailed description and I have given a relevant example with some data that's, that shows that because of using use of social media, what has happened as a result, which is divorce rates have increased and all that, okay? So discussing the problem or problems with detailed description and example is very important in body one. All right. Now let us move to body two, which is the third paragraph where we will discuss our solution. All right. On the other hand, there are few solutions. So I decided to discuss more than one, which inculcated will help mitigate the problems. That means if you utilize these inculcated means, if you utilize these solutions, if you put them in practice is what it means, it will help to mitigate the problems, that means to reduce the problems. The first solution is to limit the use of electronic devices like mobile phones and tablets to only 20 minutes a day for every single family in the house in order to spend time with each other in the family. My apologies, it should be family member. All right. So, the first solution is to limit the use of electronic devices like mobile phones and tablets to only 20 minutes a day for every single family member in the house in order to spend time with each other in the family. This is a solution that I have provided, all right? Now, obviously, if every single family member is following this routine of only using 20 minutes a day, their phones or their iPads or their tablets, anything that they have, obviously the problem is going to reduce, right? Because the less use of social media, the less use of phones, the less problem, right? That is my first solution that I have described here. Let's move on. Also, because I have to give one more solution, I want to give one more solution. It's not that I have to, I want to. Also, parents should not allow their kids until the age of 18 to watch violent videos with awful language. So another rule for kids, at least till the age of 18, because 18 is when you get adult. So at least for kids who are not adults, parents should keep a proper watch on what their kids are watching, especially uh, playing video games with awful language, playing violent games or watching violent videos wherein there's a lot of fighting, there's a lot of swearing, cursing. So if you use these words, which are obviously related with the topic, you will get a good score. For instance, kids in families where reading books regularly is a norm are more well behaved than kids who only play games and follow influencers on social media. Again, I have given an example for the, pro for the solutions that I have discussed. So what is an example? That if parents set culture of reading books in the house, uh, as a norm, as a culture, regularly for the kids instead of them spending the time using their phones or any other electronic devices or watching television even for that matter, then those kids are obviously more well behaved than kids who always just want to play games and they don't want to study or they won't, don't want to read. So this is my perspective, my opinion. Obviously, I'm not expecting every single person watching this video to uh, you know, to be in alignment with my perspective or opinion, you're more than uh, welcome to have your own opinion. It's just that how you express your opinion, that matters a lot. So you may have any opinion. Nobody is going to judge you. The instructors are not at all judgmental. But the way you express those ideas, your ideology on the paper or on the computer screen is what will decide your band, your scores. Okay. So again, the same philosophy, write, writing down the solution with a bit of description. I have included more than one solution and definitely to include an example that describes my solution very well. All right. So pretty much the same ideology for problem paragraph and for solution paragraph. Now, let's conclude the essay. A very simple conclusion. To conclude... There is always a dark and bright side to every innovation and development in technology. 
according to me the use of the same decides whether we use it for our benefit or just get addicted to it and kill time so i've just concluded saying that every coin has two sides basically that's what i'm trying to say if if there is a day there has to be a night there is no day without a night in in an ideal world now let's not get to exceptions okay so if there is a day there is a night now there is plus for day there is minus for day there is plus for night there is minus for night so everything has two sides all right that's what i'm trying to say however the use of that thing decides whether it is beneficiary for you or it is a loss for you that's what i'm trying to say in my conclusion so this is what your problem solution essay should look like so a simple essay with four paragraphs covered my introduction covered my problem in body 1 with examples and explanations covered my solution in body 2 with examples and explanations and concluded my essay simply if you follow this pattern this strategy and the way i have shared this essay with you you will for sure get a very good score in your essay writing if you have any questions concerns related to your ielts exam feel free to put a comment in the comment section below and we are more than happy to address any issues you may have I wish you all the luck and also if you are after any specific topic or any specific type of video in IELTS please put that also in the comment section below and we will definitely come up with those videos I wish you all the luck and I'll see you next time with another video bye for now